guys welcome back to this channel and compliment of decision to you all happy new year to you all on today's tutorial we are going to be liking our style we are cutting to this beautiful style you are looking at for a girl of eight years old so this is what i'm going to be making today so i already laid down the front panel and back panel together so i added my zip allowance as you can see so this is what we are going to be making today and we are going to be combining the material together we have two material so this is what we are going to be using at the lower part and the other one so this is what we are going to be using so this is second one so we are combining the two colors together so this is what we are combined together so we have two flare at the lower part and this is the lining i'm going to use so i'm i will be using this um stain net as well so guys subscribe to this channel if you are here to and if you are passing by like this video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell down there to get you notified whenever i upload my new video So let's begin the chop. I already laid down my material on the table, both front and back panel, and I have 10.5 for the back measurement I'm working with for today's tutorial. So I'm placing five one quarter, which is half of my back or oh, high oh, measurement. So here I'm coming down one inch for my shoulder slope, and I took 2.5. 2.5 is fine for a girl of 8 years for the wideness of her neck. So now I'm connecting the shoulder slope to this 2.5. So I'm connecting it to this 2.5. So since she's a girl of 8 years old, 6 inches is good for her hammer. So I'm using 6 inches for her. So six inches is good. So I'm ruling it to the shoulder slope. I'm ruling this six inches to the shoulder slope. Okay. So the half length of this girl is 10 inches. So, but I will be adding or sewing allowance for the upper part and the lower part. So I'm marking 11 inches. So 11 inches is good. So I will just cut the excess. So I want to roll it. So I want to locate the middle. So you are used to this method. So I'm connecting the hammer. Just like that. Okay, for the volume of the neck I want to use. So I will mark one inch. I'm cutting on the point of this one inch. You know, I folded both front and panel together. So... I will first cut a uh, back panel neck that so later I will come I will cut the front panel home so I want to connect together so I'm connecting it with my ruler So I'm connecting it using my chalk to mark it. So this is what I'm going to be cutting. I will cut back that first. So I'm cutting back that and not front. So later I will be cutting the front that. So this is the zip allowance. So I want to 
slash it so i'm cutting the hammer because i want to have the same shape so that's why I cut both together. So I'll be separating uh, back panel and I'll put it aside. So I'm cutting the shoulder slope. So I will cut the depth of the front panel right here. So I'm cutting it, the front depth. So this is what I have. Okay, guys, I've cut the lining for both front and back panel. So this is my lining. So I'll go to my machine and join the lining to the fabric I cut. So I will join the neck and I will join the sleeve area because it's sleeveless. So this is the back. So I will do the same thing to the back panel. Okay, guys. I want to cut the flare. I told you we are combining this or dress. So this is a one of the color we are going to be using for the flame so i folded it into two right here and this is into four so this is method i want to use for the flare today so i will make sure this or oh, material is aligned so i have 30 inches for the waist measurement i'm working with for today's tutorial but because we have a small, small pleating that goes around the waist, so I'll be adding some inches to the, uh, to this 30 inches. So this is the reason I want to mark 8.5. So 8.5 or 9 inches is good. Let me mark my inches. So I'll be marking on the point of 9 inches. So nine inches will be okay for what I want to do. So I'm placing my tape measure to measure it. Maybe it's nine inches. So this is nine inches here. This is nine inches. So nine inches is good for what I want to do. So it's okay. So I don't want to have excess and I don't want it to more than nine inches. That's why I'm checking, checking, checking and checking. So this is it. So this is waist area. I have 30 inches and I added some inches to it because of the style we are making. The splitting that goes around the waist. So I added some inches to the waist measurement. So I'm placing the half length. I'm placing the half length on the waist line so to get the full length you know so this is what I will be doing and I will start marking from that point the lower the lower part from this point to the other side so this is 37 inches so I have 37 inches for the full length of the girl we are making this dress for. So I added one inch for sewing allowance, so making 38. So I'm marking on the point of 38 inches. And I will do this from this side to the other side. So this is what I'm marking here. So I'm marking it. I'm still marking it. And I'm still placing my waist measurement on the point of or oh, waist 
on the waistline. I'm still placing 11 inches on the waistline. Okay, guys, I'm true with marking, so I'm good to cut. So this is what I'm doing. So I'll cut the waist right here. I'm cutting from the lower part, and this is the waist. So there's no calculation for this. I did not do any calculation for this. I just cut. Okay, this is what I have. So this is what I achieve. So I will use this one to cut the other color. You know, we are combined the color, the two colors. So I will use this one to do that. Okay, guys. I want to place the one I cut on the remaining fabric, the other color. So I'm placing it because I want to have the same shape. So this is what I'm doing here. So I will start cutting. So I'm cutting the waist to the lower part of the dress. So I'm cutting it. Okay, this is what I have for the two colors I'm missing together. So this is what I have. Okay, this is the first color, the second color, and the stain net. I will be using so I've cut three of them okay I'm going to my machine now and start the joining okay I use my pin to hold it down both lining and the fabric we're making so I want to start the joining so I'll place it gently on my machine and start the journey right here. So I'm taking 0 0.5 from the both side for the journey. Okay, this is the one of the lower parts. So we are going to shape it at the lower part, as you can see the picture up there. So we are shaping it at the point on the point of our uh, blouse length. So the blouse length we are working with is 15 inches. So I'm adding sewing allowance. Sorry, my um uh, whipping allowance because I'm going to use my overlocking machine to with it so i'll be adding or oh, one or two inches to the blouse length so i will now cut it like so so this is what i want to do right here so i've marked it and here i'm good to cut so this is what i'm cutting so it's going to end at that point so the shape is going to end at this point. I cut on the point of my of our blouse stand. So this is the central. This is central, the middle. So I told you the pleating will go around the waist. So it's going around the waist. So this is the front. As you can see the picture. So there's Pleating that will go around after that front panel. So this is the zip allowance. 
So I have my sip allowance. So I'm going to join my sip with the allowance. Okay, I'm taking four inches. Four inches and seven inches also. So seven inches is the length of the bow because the dress we are making as bow at the front. So the length is seven inches and the breadth is four inches. So I'll be adding my paper stay and I will use my iron on it because the material we are using is a light material. As you can see. So to achieve this uh, beautiful bow, I will add my stay and use my iron to give it good press. So I will look for, I will sew from that end to the seven inches like that. So I will look for my scissors to create small hole at that point. So from that hole, I will bring, uh, I will bring it out. So this is what I want to do. Okay, I want to join the shoulder. I put my hand inside. So I will take the other one. So can you see my hand? So I'm taking the other one. So I pull it out. So I make sure the two edges are aligned. Make sure it's, they are aligned. And place it on your machine. You can use your pin to hold it. So can you see? Can you see the edges? So you can use your pin to hold it down before you sew it. So it will come out like this. Okay, guys. So I'm showing you first uh, layer. So this is second layer. And this is the stain net I used for this beautiful dress. So here I'm going to cut this lining and use it to close it up at the side at the waistline. I'm joining this lining to cover it up. So this is what I want to do and I will add my zip as well as my bow. We are through. All right, guys, we are through with the tutorial so this is beautiful and gorgeous dress i made for a girl of eight years so can you see the plating the front of plating and the plating that goes around the waist so i will use my overlocking machine to whip the edges so this is the bow it's very, very nice. So this is outcome of what I'll be doing. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for suspicion. Thank you for everything on this channel. Like this video, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next tutorial. I love you all.